Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. Let me just make sure my microphone is on. Perfect. All right, so we want to talk about uh, twisted cables today. So um, go to top view first of all. I want to show you a example of what we're doing with today. So imagine these are like telephone poles or poles and you have a cable with it, right? I mean, are they usually straight like that? No, they're usually twisted at least slightly, right? They're, they got some loop here. And uh, so this cable is technically, while you can have a simple swept cable here in Shaper, if you want to make a twisted cable in Shaper 3D, we're currently limited to making it only a straight one just like this. But nonetheless, for those that might need it, let me go ahead and show you the process is quite simple if you follow these instructions. So let's start off with a circle. Let's go ahead and make it, let's say one here. Let's split that into half and make another one here. Well, I guess that's not half, but anyways, let's just make a couple circles so we have kind of something resembling, right? So the reason it twists, first of all, is for strength and for flexibility. Because if you just had straight cables going like so, and they swayed in the wind, imagine the forces there, they would break or rupture the cables, even if they're metal, right? Eventually. Because what do you do like with a staple if you keep bending it a couple times it breaks right that's the same thing that would happen here but because it's twisted it gives it like inherent flexibility in the parts okay so that's why they have those cables twisted but anyways to continue this we can either go to transform move and we can rotate this manually by using the copy function or we can use the easier way and go to transform pattern select our piece make sure that the pattern is circular go to the center to align and then go around 360 degrees and then just for those who haven't yet watched my pattern tutorial i recommend you do that uh after this video but anyways it'll help you understand the uh, pattern the pattern tool way better and uh for this let's go start with eight keep going up until we fill our spots so i think we can fit one more in there 13 and then for this one same thing transform pattern and align it in the center by just getting to the edge of the circle and then going around 360 degrees and let's do 13 see if that works that's probably too tight and that, that should be fine technically and then there's you're going to have the plastic wrap around that as well or the rubber whatever you want to call it but technically we need this guideline here this one's typically straight as far as i know let's do 20 millimeters and obviously it's usually thinner but just for for this tutorial don't worry about it okay so there's two methods of doing this and i'm going to show you the harder one first which you can do is tools revolve and you can select all of these cables here that you want to revolve and notice how long it takes and how we have to select every one and then notice well first of all let's go ahead and select our axis which is the z axis right now and uh, we're going to go ahead and Pull it up and notice how slow everything is because there's so much to think about for the computer right 20 millimeters in this case the ipad actually but 20 millimeters and the revolution 360 degrees in this case is probably fine but you can make it less if you want the twist to be less so you can do that as necessary but 360 is fine here and also what you can do is do a negative so it twists the other way just fyi all right but you noticed how it was okay but sort of slow but now look at it this way tools revolve select one select the axis and you can also sketch an axis or make an axis with the tools menu not the tools but the transform menu just fyi you don't have to use this specific center axis because you can have a part right off you know the center and that way you can have more options for that so let's have this cable now and then look at this transform pattern you select one you align it in the center you go around 360 degrees. I believe we had 13, 11 or 13. Let's try again. That's why we have those sketches there so we can check. And 12, right. So as you see, no loading screens. And if you remembered the number like I did, didn't, uh, it would have been way simpler in every way. So this is just something to keep in mind that you can have a very similar process but using different tools achieving the same result which will speed up the process in a way so 
now what we have here is a twisted cable right and then if you want to add let's say our rubber cover or something we can go tools offset we can use that sketch that's already there technically if if it was if it's not go ahead and just draw a circle starting from the center out here you can connect it to the intersection and then you can offset or you could just go straight and draw a circle as thick as you need it so you have your basically rubber covering right so that's one thing but another thing is the, the reason i told you in the beginning you can only make a straight twisted um, cable instead of a twisted twisted cable is because like for example if they go sideways like so uh, you can't really follow the twist you can make it straight technically if you align this in the center this is an important part if you align this in the center it'll actually work if you don't it might not so tools sweep i'm just going to show you a small example that's a uh, let's do that that's enough for this so for example if we sweep that part as you see it does sweep the style but there is no twist involved so this is just something to keep in mind when working in shaper that there are currently limitations that don't allow us to do certain things but obviously you can have just this piece on the edge let's say over here on this side like the visual and then you can sweep along this plastic cover so let's say tool sweep this plastic cover along let's say that spline that we had right it would cover the rest of this so technically it would look as if the whole thing is there so for your visual it would be good enough but for your CAD drawing not so much so again let me just move it up here to show you an example so let's uh, hide these real quick let's do that by selecting these ones here and then uh, deselect the sketch hide those in a folder by selecting them obviously because it didn't select the whole thing since I couldn't do it on the bottom there but you can move these now into your folder and hide it and then you can go and tools replace face this here so it's aligned properly and I messed that one up, but let's select it and select this face. Click done, then tools sweep on this thing. This one done. Unhide our folder. So as you can see, it sort of looks like there's a cable inside if you follow the sweep and then you can just replace the face here as well. But if you have this part showing, so you get the visual representation as necessary when needed but you can technically only make the straight cable so just some things to consider uh, the limitations on shaper that they're the app is great for cad references but there are certain projects like this that need flexibility something you would need to do in a different app something like blender and then you can't really do that on the ipad versus this so this again things to consider i hope you guys learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.